So here we are with a quick video on the whole concept of interdisciplinary courses. I often think of, you know, is this an interdisciplinary course or an interdisciplinary curse, right? Well, the Newman Studies Program Core courses are interdisciplinary. That is that they employ the methods and content from more than one discipline. Our subject matter, arts, entertainment, and the city absolutely relate to that. The city as a historical entity, a political entity, and then the various forms of artistic and or entertainment expression from what uh, WSU Shocker Basketball, sorry Coach Potter, to um, which we think of as the city identity, right? To um, fountains along the Arkansas River to uh, the Cedric County Zoo, right? All of these things are different methods of expressing public art and entertainment, whether it be sports or um, zoology or uh, hydro engineering, right? In order to do fountains and such. So all of these different approaches, and certainly all of them have an economic feature, all of them have uh, a sociological feature. So taking a look at more than one discipline to try to understand the world that is around us. Yeah. So why do this? It, well, first off, in our case, not only are we going to look at history, art, all of the other uh, issues we just raised, but also religion, the social sciences, like politics and uh, economics. So why? Why do this? Why put you through this interdisciplinary exercise? The various disciplines you studied as a freshman or a sophomore, or you maybe you're studying right now, uh, give you an overall introduction to the contents and methods of that, say, discipline. Say, for example, history, art, sociology. That's great. That's fantastic. But your education in the liberal arts as well as your major, so combining your other liberal arts classes and your major, and your own life experiences, right, tell you that history, for example, does not operate in a vacuum, nor does math, science, philosophy, even IT. Nothing operates as an independent discipline all along. All alone, excuse me. <clears throat> we want you to study those disciplines because we want you to think about the individual discipline. And in these core courses, we want you to think about how they might work together, right? The human equation always comes into the picture with any of these disciplines. And something interesting happens. Sometimes for the better, sometimes it's a stumbling block. So for example, consider if you're a biology major and you have a 10-year-old patient, maybe you're a doctor or a dentist, you have a 10-year-old patient who won't tell you what's wrong with her. She's sick, right? She won't tell the doctor that she ate too much sugar today because mom is going to get mad because she took that extra cookie and she wasn't supposed to, and maybe that's created some kind of reaction that she knew might happen. Uh, child psychology would be helpful if you're trying to get this information out of a kid. Biology would be helpful. Communication skills would be helpful, right? And I know that might seem a little simplistic, but, but you know that at the core, that's what's going on. You have to be able to communicate well. You have to listen. You have to judge a little bit of, again, in this case, the child psychology, and also think about the biological uh, consequences that may be going on for this kid, why this kid is in front of you. Also consider on more of a political level, um, what does the, in the informed voter need to know to consider certain issues? So for example, we recently had a one cent sales tax on our ballot in, in Wichita, right? Uh, Leaving aside all of the political issues there, say that one cent sales tax was, I don't know, to support dairy farmers in their efforts to upgrade milk production, to include more energy efficient methods, more improved sanitation, right? Maybe that was it. It was just one issue. Uh, what do you as an informed voter need to consider? You need to consider the economics of this. You need to consider the agricultural issues, community health issues. Do you even like milk? Right. Uh, so what is the long term benefit, say, to the community to support such an initiative? Is the benefit worth the cost? Will you take the time to consider the pros and the cons of such an initiative? And again, that may seem a little bit silly, but you can see how everyday decisions, everyday events that come up have more than one 
Comple more than one issue. They're, they're all complex in some way. So asking you to look at things from an interdisciplinary perspective is part of helping you to pull your education together for sure, but also um, asks you to examine complex ideas and issues uh, because this is what is the requirement of a democracy. You live in a democracy. You will constantly be challenged to look at things from a variety from a variety of perspectives. Our mission at Newman University is to help students achieve their goals and to do so in a manner uh, that will provide them the skills, the inspiration to face the challenges and the world of today. And of course, to transform those challenges into opportunities that will benefit society as a whole and perhaps yourself along the way. Yeah. And so an interdisciplinary course uh, such as this one asks you to deal with those things. Bread and Circuses combines the study of history with the study of art and entertainment. Uh, so we'll look to the historical method to investigate the city as an institution, as an institution in human society. We will also try to see how a city and its people shape art shape entertainment, and in turn, how the arts and the entertainment might shape the city, the people living in that city. Now, let me say that again. Bread and Circuses combines the study of history with art and entertainment. So we will look to the historical method to investigate the city as an institution in human society. We will also try to see how a city and its people might shape art and entertainment for various reasons, political, social, religious, and in turn, how the arts and entertainment might shape the people in that city. Interdisciplinarity sounds a little complex. That's because it can be. Off we go.